Hi guys, it's Miss Kate. So, I'm going to show you how to make this artwork if you want to have a go. I'm going to be very honest with you. My year six children know this. Um, art is not my cup of tea. Um, I have a very fixed mindset usually when it comes to art because I get frustrated. Even though I like the idea of colours and cutting and drawing, I'm not good at it and I get stressed okay so if you're like me you like the idea of art, of art and you want to have a go there at, but you get frustrated quickly um you're going to make sh you're going to need niche farm values and you're going to need a growth mindset and you want to make sure that in the, the environment that you're in is calm so i've got some music on to keep me calm um i had judo singing the teddy bear keeping me calm so whatever works for you, make sure you're in an environment where it's calm and you don't get angry because art can sometimes be overwhelming just the way some other subjects can be. So make sure you've got your growth mindset and your scan values. Now in order to do this, you're going to need a white piece of paper or card. You're going to need sellotape. If you've got masking tape, use masking tape and then peel it off after. But I don't have that so I've used um, sellotape. And then you'll need a skyline cut out now i am not good at art so i copied and pasted it from google i cheated um if you think you know what i can do it i've got black card i can cut it up and create your own skyline and I, if you look at right at the end of the video you can see some of the skylines you can go for i went for a very basic one as you can see so yes yeah, so you'll need a skyline scissors glue Sellotape, crayons or file tips. I started off with crayons because I was scared and then I, I moved on to, to file tips. You can use paint as well but make sure before you put the skyline on you let it dry first. So I'm going to show you now how to build your, create your artwork. Good luck guys! What you're going to do is you're going to get your Ooh, there we go. You're going to get your piece of paper. You're going to get some sellotape. You're going to... Oh, it's already a mess. You're going to literally get through about three. I'm going to say three. And you're just going to place it down like diagonally. It's up to you whereabouts you want to do it. Ooh, this is stressful. I've never done it before with sellotape. I, I always use masking tape. Because you can peel it off after, but I'm not even going to try that today. So, oh. oh my gosh, I'm stressed. Okay, that's it. And then I'm going to cut it. Yeah. Hopefully you have some help to do this at home. So, there we go. And then I'm going to do literally about three. I'm going to do one this way. And maybe another one this way going over. So it's up to you. You want them diagonal, and these will be your searchlights. Okay, so I'm going to just pause that there so you know, so you can just have a go. So I'm going to pause it, do three. You pause it and put three pieces of sellotape on. Okay, so hang on. There we go. I've put three on. Can you see them? One two and then three it's up to you if you just want to put two on that's fine if you want to put on three that's your choice i wouldn't do more than three for a4 to be honest but once you've done that you can choose whether you want your crayon or whether you want file tips now if you go on file tips that's fine you can go over the sellotape and then just rub it off after but like i said i'm messy so crayons it is now you want to go for like sunset colors or like night time-ish colors so I'm going to go for like the orange, yellow, red scheme. Orange, what did I say? Orange, yellow, and red. How about red? Oh, okay, so we'll just have to do orange and, yeah, we'll just have to do orange and yellow because I don't have red. Oh, okay. I'm going to start off with my yellow and I'm going to go across like this. Now, if you're going to go for the three colours approach, then split it into three. If you're going to go for four, for those very arty children, then you split it across four. I've had some year six children who do who had a rainbow kind of scheme going on. If you want it to have 
If you want to do a rainbow, that's fine, but I want to go for that like sunset look. It's totally up to you what colours you want to use, but go for a theme, I would suggest, but it's up to you. I've started and you can see my colouring isn't the greatest, my pencils aren't the greatest, but I'm just going to have a go anyway. So I'm going to go for that yellow, I wish I had a red, but I don't. And I'm going to keep going over, the sellotape kind of blocks you from going over it, so that's perfect, that's what you want. Okay, so I've put my pink in there and I've noticed that my colours aren't like great, so I might use felt tip if I feel brave enough. I use pink because I'm extra, but um, I'm gonna put some orange underneath. Um, I'll I'll have a go with foul tip because I want it to look nice. So I'll have a go with foul tip, and I'll show you what it looks like in a second. So I have went over it in foul tip. I would recommend to go over it in foul tip. Don't do what I did and leave white spaces because it doesn't look as nice so if you can go over the white spaces then please do i've only done it like this because i'm quickly making this video but you'll see so now i've done the pink i'm going to do some orange and then i found a red in the felt tip right case and then i'm going to do some red as well okay let me pause it and then i'll show you what it looks like at the end can you see, so I'm started with the orange, can you see sometimes I've gone over the sellotape, this is why I use sellotape, because you can literally just wipe it off with your finger, because you want these to be a search, like that's, that, that's what's going to have the most impact, so I've done that with a lot of it, so I'm just going to literally wipe it off like that, okay, please don't leave the white spaces. Okay, so that's all done. Again, don't leave any white spaces because they're not going to look as great. But I've quickly done all the background. Okay, remember to get rid of the, like, any uh, mess that you've made on the search, like on the sellotape bit. Um, if you want to paint, you can. I'm quite relaxed now and I'm not too stressed, even though this looks a bit messy, um, I think I might paint it if I get a chance to. So once you're happy with the background, if you've painted it, let it dry, if you've coloured it, then you can move on. Uh, what you're going to do now is you're going to cut, You are, if you're that arty person, you use your black cards to create your own skyline and cut it out. If you've gone for what I've done, then print, copy and paste a skyline onto a sheet of paper and just cut it out so I'm going to cut this out now and then I'm going to stick it on top okay so I've cut out my skyline it took me like I'm not gonna lie to you guys it took me like five minutes and I made little mistakes look that's okay it happens especially if you you're using it out of paper like me so it's fine so what I'm gonna do now is I'm literally gonna glue it on and that's it, that's smart. well, I'm going to show you something else you can do, and that's your Blitz art piece, and you can stick it on the wall, I think it's really cool, if you did go for the rainbow, you can stick it on the window, because we're celebrating our key workers, and it's VE day, so it's up to you what you want to do with this, but please keep this if you made one, and then you can bring it into school and give it to me, and I can make a fun display out of it, well, I will ask someone to make a fun display, because I'm awful at displays too. So I'm going to try and fill, colour in the, the white bit. But that is your Blitz artwork. I'm going to glue it down and then I can show you if you want to go for the fancy bits what you can do. Okay, so that's all stuck down. And now I'm going to have a go at creating the, uh, the extra fancy bits. Now, obviously the Blitz was a campaign from by the Germans during the Second World War to drop bombs around the UK, especially the cities. So obviously they would have searchlights going on and then it would be a blackout because the UK wanted all the lights to be turned off so the Germans would struggle where to throw their bombs. So that's why it's like a blackout down here and you've got your searchlights and we're going to have some little German planes in the sky. I have never done this before. I'm going to brave it out today. So, ooh, so I'm, gonna, I'm very scared. I'm going to draw these planes. I'm going to draw like an oval shape. You can already feel this going wrong. Uh, looks like a bird. Okay. Ooh. Don't do if you don't feel like you can. And then I'm going to draw some bombs coming down. And then I'll draw another plane. Oh, 
esto. And then he's got some bombs coming down. Kind of regret drawing the bombs, but there we go. And then I'll draw another plane. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. There we go. And then I'm going to draw a few down there. Okay, you don't have to draw those. I regret it. I'm not happy with them, but if you're arty, then you can. If you're smart, you'd have you could get you could um, if you've got a printer as well, you can get well uh, you can copy and paste it from Google and then print it and cut it. That's what I should have done. I regret it now. But that's your art piece. Again, make sure you don't leave any white pieces, and it's gonna look so cool. I'm telling you, you guys, it's gonna look amazing. So that's my Blitz art piece. Have a go, send me a piece. If you don't have to use this colour scheme, you can do the rainbow, you can go for the, the blue, purple, I don't know what other colours you can do, for that midnighty look kind of um, scheme as well. Hope you enjoyed this video and yeah, send me your best pieces please. Look, if you have a look, you can, you can do colours like this. If you're, you want to be really fancy in art, you can do it like this. Can you see how they've not left white spaces like me? But it will look so cool. And they've just gone for the standard colours like I have. If you go for that midnighty blue, purple, from like light blue to dark to purple, dark blue to purple, it's going to look so cool. Have a go, guys. Let me know how it, how it goes for you. And remember, if you like me... Mindset people, mindset, have a growth mindset and have your Nishkan values, okay? Just because you're at home doesn't mean you forget about your values. Good luck and have lots of fun making this. Speak to you soon. Bye, everyone.